The other storyline, and some people get mad about me being continuing to cover it, but I think it's the biggest story in maybe all of sports in terms of the impact that it could have right now, and it is Deshaun Watson. And significantly on Thursday, for the first time that I remember seeing, the Houston Police Department has officially confirmed that they have begun a criminal investigation into Deshaun Watson for potential sexual assault. And for those of you out there, I'm putting my lawyer hat on now. For those of you out there that have not been aggressively following this case, this is a really bad sign for Deshaun Watson. Because as I told you over the past couple of weeks, there are really three different issues for Deshaun Watson from a legal and play perspective that he needs to be worried about. And I'm going to tell you about their, uh, their ranking in order of significance. The first and least significant is the NFL personal conduct policy. The NFL is going to investigate Deshaun Watson and try to determine if he has violated the NFL personal conduct policy, and if so, they are going to suspend him. I would be stunned beyond belief if Deshaun Watson will cooperate in any way with this investigation because based on all the evidence that is out there right now, I'm telling you the truth, I would be stunned if Deshaun Watson plays football in 2021 anywhere. I think it's likely that he is going to sit out this season either for suspension or with legal issues hanging over his head. I do not believe that he is going to be able to play football for the Houston Texans in 2021. But I would never cooperate with the NFL because he has nothing to gain there. Second most significant issue he faces. 22, I believe, is the current number of lawsuits with the women now having put their names to the charges that are outstanding against Deshaun Watson. These are civil lawsuits. The standard of uh, liability for civil lawsuits is 50% plus a scintilla, a needle. If a jury finds you to be 50% plus a thread over the liability threshold, then theoretically, Deshaun Watson would have to pay damages in these cases. Rusty Hardin, who is Deshaun Watson's attorney, has said so far, we intend to go to trial, jury trial, in 22 different cases. That is a bunch of malarkey. There is no way that that is actually going to happen. I, if I were advising Deshaun Watson, because some of you say, okay, Clay, what would you do if you were Deshaun Watson? I would tell him to settle all of these cases immediately. Whatever it is going to cost you is a small drop in the bucket of whatever you are likely to make in your career as an NFL quarterback. Even if it costs you $20 million, you have to pay that and you have to pay it sooner rather than later to avoid any more criminal issues that may be arising, which we'll get to in a moment. And honestly, I think Deshaun Watson has received really poor advice because Tony Busby, there are emails out there that show that if Tony Busby had gotten his way, Deshaun Watson would have settled this first case for $100,000. There would have been a non-disclosure signed. It would have never gone public in any way. And so this would have been an easy resolution Nothing else ever goes forward. That is the end of it. Boom, it goes away almost instantaneously. A lot of these women never go forward. This never goes public. I think Deshaun Watson got awful advice. They could have settled this, guys, for $100,000. That's a rounding error to Deshaun Watson, who just signed a $160 million deal. His overall persona doesn't get attacked. His character isn't called into question. Many of these women never come forward at all, probably if the first lawsuit isn't filed. This is one of the all-time bad advice miscalculations. I don't know the people that represent Deshaun Watson, but if I were talking to him right now, I would tell him he needs to fire all of his representation because they led him astray. I'm not saying that he behaved perfectly. I'm just saying they led him astray. And then the final issue that's now out there that the Houston police have confirmed is they are criminally investigating this case. 
if you are facing criminal charges, instead of just being able to buy your way out of problems, you're now facing potentially years in prison, and you have to worry if you're Deshaun Watson about becoming the NFL's version of Bill Cosby or the NFL's version of Jeffrey Epstein. This is a monster issue going forward for Deshaun Watson, and it ain't getting better at all for him any time in the near future. 